G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Triton is fast becoming one of the most popular supplements for marine aquariums in Australia. However, it's the ICP testing for which they are most famous. ICP testing is basically when you send off a sample of water to have it analyzed in a lab, giving you results you can't get with any other system. So today we're gonna to take you through an ICP test and we're going to test the natural seawater that we collect and sell at Gallery Aquatica. So doing a Triton ICP test will give you readings on almost 40 different elements in your aquarium. And there's heaps of things that you just can't test any other, other way, things like heavy metals and the like. So today we're going to do an ICP test just to verify that our natural seawater is as good as we think it is. So when you do an ICP test, the first, start, the first thing you need to do is to purchase the test. So we have our ICP test here, and this is a kit that contains everything that you need to send off a sample to the lab. So we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna show you exactly what you need to do to process your ICP. So let's open up our Triton ICP and show you exactly what you get. So we have some instructions, and in here we have two vials. Uh, we've got an address to which we're going to send our sample off to, and we've got a couple of barcodes which we're going to attach to our sample. But most importantly, you get these two little sample vials. And so we're going to fill these sample vials with our natural seawater, and then we'll show you how we process this and send it off. But let's start by uh, filling our vials with natural seawater. So we're out the back of Gallery Aquatica Wynnum, and uh, I just wanna talk a little bit about our natural seawater. So we store it here in this 2000 litre water tank. We have a very similar water tank at our other store at Salisbury, but let's just talk about where the water has come from. So when we collect our natural seawater, we're very particular about how we collect it. We collect it at the high tide. We take into consideration weather events uh, like rain and uh, uh, the storms and wind and that sort of thing. And we ensure that we collect it at the best possible time. And when we collect it, we pump it from uh, the source water into our truck. Our truck holds uh, up to 8,000 liters. We then take from the truck to the stores and pump it into these tanks. Now, the reason why we're going to take a sample out of these tanks is because the water in here has been through all of our process. It's been through our pumps, our hoses, it's been in the truck tank, and it's got and it's sat in the tank here at the shop. So this will be the most representative way to, to sample our natural seawater. If we were taking samples from the ocean when we collect, then that's not really the same because it hasn't, the water hasn't been through our equipment and any contamination that could be present from our equipment and our tanks won't show up. So this is a very important point to make. We're testing our natural seawater at the point in which the user or the end consumer takes it home. So I'll show you where uh, we dispense our natural seawater and we'll fill our sample vials. All right, so this is our natural seawater. And I'm just gonna open up the vials. Now, it's important that you rinse these vials three times. One. Two. Three before you then fill it up. And you just fill them up to the top. Turn off the tap. Put on the lids. Making sure you don't put your finger on top or contaminate the vial with any extraneous sources. Um, but there are our two sample vials. So we'll go back to the computer and we'll show you how we register these. So 
So you start by registering your account uh, with Triton and from there you're able to fill out the details of your aquarium, the size being the most important part of that. And then you take your samples, you attach the barcodes, one, two, and you register, you register these barcodes on your Triton account. So then you put these back in here and you can either send it off like this with some stamps, so put some tape on this, or we generally put it in a, a satchel to then be sent off. So we're gonna do that today. Okay, so now we're gonna post this off the cans. Easy. After you've sent off your Triton ICP sample, it takes about one to two weeks to get your results. Now, rather than wait for the results of this current test to come back, we actually have the results of our last test of natural seawater and we're going to show you the results. So as I said, you have these results emailed to you, but we've got them printed out here today just to ease of running you through the results that we've received for our natural seawater. So as I said, there's almost 40 elements that are tested with a Triton ICP. So we're not gonna talk about all of them, but one of the uh, common ones that we like to look at is the first one, aluminium. It's something that can be a contaminant in your natural seawater. So you can see we have a, an analysis of zero and that's exactly what we want. We also have some other heavy metals which have come up as zero. Uh, you can see we've got zero lead, zero cadmium. Uh, zero copper. So these are all looking good. Uh, lanthanum is zero, mercury is zero. So, so far you can see that each of the readings are in the green. So try to make it very easy to interpret your ICP results because they have this sliding bar. Obviously green is good and red being bad. So even if you don't know a lot about the specific elements that uh, have been tested, you do get this guidance as to let you know how much of a problem it is. Um, so we have some more metals. Uh, tin is another one that can be a contaminant in, in certain water, um, but we've got a very good analysis of zero, so that's good to see. Uh, calcium, so he, these are the ones that we will often test for with our uh, hobby uh, grade test kits. And so it's nice to see our calcium uh, natural seawater is 422, um, which is slightly on the low side, but still within the green. Um, our magnesium has come in at 1339, um, so that's good. And you can see we have a good ratio between the two. The ratio of calcium to magnesium is particularly important. Um, our potassium is coming at 406, which is good. Uh, you don't want to have low potassium in your tank. Um, we've got some other readings here, which are all within the green. Strontium is particularly important, of course. So we've got nine milligrams per liter of that. Uh, again, we're looking at all these things in the green. Uh, nickel, another one that can contaminate your aquarium water, uh, is coming at zero. Let's see, zinc, manganese. So again, all of these are within the green. So our natural seawater is looking really good. Chromium, cobalt, iron, all in the green, uh, exactly what we want to see. Uh, barium, beryllium, silicon. So silicon's a, an important one. And when you're testing your home aquarium, this is certainly something that uh, we would want to look at, especially if you're having problems with uh, certain algae. the silicon level can be um, a, a cause for that. And this is, the, the Triton ICP test is one of the few ways that you can get an accurate reading of silicon in your aquarium. 
So we also have some readings for uh, phosphorus and phosphate. And so any of the ones like phosphate, calcium, magnesium, that you can also use lab, uh, sorry, hobby grade test kits to test, it's good to have the ICP to verify those readings. The ICP, of course, is extremely accurate and extremely precise. So if you're not sure if you're getting good readings from uh, your hobbyist level test kits, then you can do an ICP test to verify your readings. And that's one of the things that we do for our natural seawater. We do uh, test with a spin tester, but it's good to be able to verify and get a 100% um, you know, accuracy with the ICP. So our phosphate level uh, for our natural seawater has come in at 0.03. So that is a very good reading. Um, and we also have our salinity, um, 35 PPT. So that is also good. So as you can see, the results for our ICP on our natural seawater are excellent. And this is very typical of the readings that we get. And this is because we are very careful with the way we collect our natural seawater. Now we're lucky in Southeast Queensland to have access to really good natural seawater. Um, and of course, a lot of parts of the world, you don't have the option of using natural seawater in your aquarium. And you can, of course, do ICP tests on water that you mix up with artificial salts. Now, this is a, a, an important consideration. And the, the thing about artificial salt is, of course, that it is only as good as the RODI water that you're using to mix it. So if your RODI water is not excellent, then you'll potentially have contamination with the water that you're using in your reef tank. So you can certainly do ICP tests on the artificial salt that you're mixing up. And really, I would say that with artificial salt, it's even more important to do ICP tests because some of the things that will get through your filtration system won't come up on the TDS reading of your uh, RODI unit and silicates are the best example of this. So regardless of if you're using natural seawater or artificial salt, you definitely want to ICP your source water so you can guarantee that the water that you're putting into your reef aquarium is safe and of the best quality. So now we've spoken about the process of doing an ICP test with Triton. And as you can see, it's very, very easy to do, but something that we didn't speak about is that when you do an ICP test with Triton, you're actually given some instructions on what you can do to improve your water chemistry for your aquarium. And so we sell a variety of products that Triton will recommend at the bottom of the ICP test so that you can just get your levels exactly right. And that's one of the uh, beautiful things about this system. It's all very scientific, very specific and accurate and precise. And it does allow you to really know exactly what your water chemistry is like in your aquarium. But that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!